Hello, this is Yellow Hobo. Getting on with episode 7 today. Hope everybody's enjoying the series. I did do a little time lapse on the last one, uh, just because that ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I just wanted to, oh yeah, we gotta go back down home. Yeah, so hopefully everybody's having a good old time. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? The sound is a little bit too low for my liking. Like, you can hear the music, but... Right there. Alright. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I'm not gonna get attacked. Dun dun dun. So Uva's a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know why she was like already ready to marry me on day one, you know. Look at her look at her. Was it like love at first sight for her? Poor lady. A shorter night does not exist than that fleeting moonlight tryst. Pray tell, what ails you, my lady? Who's this guy? Oh. Where'd he get the light? Jasper? Yes, it is. I mean, no. I know not this individual of whom you speak. Um, then you are? Golden eyes like spotlights, illuminating the crime in the darkness. Fresh blood, a vivid testament to the battle that had transpired. Tis none other than I, the Night Stalker. <laughs> I see, um... Is there anything you need, Mr. Night Stalker? You cannot hide your inner turmoil from me. Do not let these feelings of anguish pervade your life. Nay, take the advice of this Night Cap Cavalier instead. You must never allow others to decide your fate for you. you should you ever disagree with a recommendation given to you, you must say so loud and clear. Disagree? I. Hmm. I think there may have been some sort of misunderstanding, Jasper. Um, I mean, Mr. Night Stalker. Misunderstanding? Whatever do you mean? I mean, it's. I didn't disagree with anything. Ah, I see. Then you were simply embarrassed, were you? I. I like John a lot. You like him? Uh, that's I didn't I didn't get that sense at all. But I do have to thank you, Mr. Night Stalker. Thank me. Yes, for what you just said. Thank you. Because you know what? I do need to take off my mask. There's no reason to be someone I'm not. Take off your mask. <clears throat> yes, yes, I can see now that I was worrying far too much. You can certainly take off your, take care of yourself. Now then, I shall bid you adieu until we meet next, my dear. Goodbye, Mr. Night Stalker. <laughs> Jasper's so creepy. Oh, he did that. Goodness gracious, I never had a heart attack. That Uva is something else. For a moment, I thought she seen through my disguise. <laughs> Pretty sure she saw through it from the start. I'll say. That's... That's not possible. You, you don't think so, do you, Emily? I... Uh, mm. Anyway, <laughs> haven't you three had enough already? Uva clearly likes the guy. 
Had enough? You say that as though we don't have a moral obligation to watch over this village's youngins. I've said it once. I'll say it again. You guys are nothing but a bunch of foggies. Fogies, my bad. Watch your mouth. She does have a point, you know. Perhaps we should leave the youngsters to deal with their own problems. I certainly didn't like having someone watch over my shoulder when I was young. Not you too. Let's just give it a rest. Uva can certainly take care of herself. Very true. There isn't a man who wouldn't like Uva on this green earth. I don't know, you never know with John. I will say though, Jasper, that wasn't half bad. Getting Uva to finally see that what's on her mind, I mean that I mean it was all the work of the Night Stalker. There isn't a person in all the world capable of resisting the Night Stalker's charm. John, I think it's time to get up, buddy. John? John! <laughs> Just jump on him. John, something big happened. Is there any way we can help, Uva? <laughs> when it comes to knocking a few heads, John's basically a master. Would you be willing to go to the Blimp Pig Ranch, John? Miller came running out into the village this morning. Seems his poor Blimp Pigs have flown, to, flown the coop. Bowman's already left to investigate, but... I thought if there was anyone who could help him, it would be you, John. You really went to town on those Blimp Pigs yesterday. You don't think you scared them right off, do you? <laughs> Blimp pigs are normally very docile. Something must have happened to spook them. Spook, spook, spook. You don't think it was a monster, do you? I can't be sure. We don't usually tread too far into the forest here. That's a mountain god's territory. Guess you and me will have to put those piggies back in their pen, John. Let's get to the blimp pig ranch quick. Uh, wait. The forest. It can be incredibly dangerous. Take this. It's not much, but it should at least help out against any bees you run into there. Oh, it's a Nerf gun! Maybe. Great, you got the Bang Bang gun. You can find it in your weapons menu. Cool. Also... You, you haven't eaten breakfast yet, right? I made these sandwiches for you. You need to keep your strength up, you know? Eh, okay. I don't think I got room in my backpack. Alright, let's go down here. Actually, let's... Do I need to... Not that. No! Pick it up! <laughs> oh, I got the gun in. How do I... Okay. Alright. Uh, how do we switch? Okay. Oh, okay. I see it now. The fence! Done clean smash in! 
You don't think it was that green piggy from earlier, do you? He's got a limp. Something tells me, tells me it's something bigger. What are you going on like that? Ain't nothing but a little piggy escape, Saul. So all we gotta do is find him again. No harm, no foul. We're here! Oh, Mr. Bowen's here too. Uva said something happened at the Blunt Pig Ranch, so we thought we'd drop by and see if we could help. Shh! Look at there. That one? That's a little poor sign del delinquent. You blockhead, you scared the little sucker right off into the forest. Don't worry, we'll catch him. Just leave it to John. Why you why you volunteering me for? But the forest, it's dangerous. Yeah, you'll find more in a few wild critters in there. All the more reason why we're the perfect ones to do it. You should have seen John back underground. He was a monster whacking machine. Yeah, underground. Well, if you're that dead set, I ain't gonna stop you. Hey! This ain't some game, you know. Don't think they're playing on playing games by the looks of them. Unless that game involves deadly weapons. Wait, isn't that Uba's gun? I may not know much about the old fisticuffs, but I do know that Uba's got a keen eye on her. She trusts you, well. Then I trust you. So I'm going to teach him that 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 bad piggy a lesson he won't soon forget. I right, right, just leave it to us. Just make sure you watch your ammo. Without it, that thing ain't nothing but a rusty old stick. And don't be out too late. Harvest festivals tonight. switch I'll get these controls down here in a second switch character okay I need three more hard orbs What was that? I guess I can't do nothing against that. Is there a point in even killing these things? This is where using a controller is gonna be worse for me. Oh crap! Yeah, I think I'm gonna. We're going, we're going to switch it back to the the keyboard mouse. Can't do squat. Okay, cool. 
That works out better. Do I need to go this way for anything? No, probably not. That's bombs. That's cool. Um, I need to switch them up. Okay. Alright, let's go back over here. This one right here. Alright, that's not gonna work. Pretty neat. Guess we're just flowing down the river. Take that all day. Alright, so do I need to like hit that while I'm going by? Nope. <laughs> Gotta say no to that one. need her to do this. Stay right there. A little bit, a little bit of a learning curve here. 
Do I want to get rid of those, or are we going to use them bounce? Probably bounce. Okay, that's how we get back and forth. Let's go this way first. I want to see if I can get back there. No way to get back there? Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Treasure right there. Come on. And we'll find the key. You do run out of ammo really quick. There's some ammo. Here's the key. I think to the left over there, we got another room. Like over here. Maybe there's a room. Maybe there's not. Eh. It looked like it was promising. Oh, come on now. I need to eat something. this. Thanks for the fish sandwich, Chief. Go open up this door. Oh, can't, can't get it on over there. Y'all got slimes down here too? Don't hit Sam. Oh, 
I wonder if I can hit that thing back. Wasted quite a bit of ammo there. Okay. Alright. I bet you if I had a rock, maybe this can. Can you come with me for a second? I got science to do with this eyeball. Oh, come on now. Get him. Okay. that's been doing these. with a bud. Salt. Don't even need to fight you. They put them so spread out that I don't even need to fight them. So this one, oh, and we're gonna go over here. Okay. So clearly we need to sit in this one this way. Go check out what's over here. Cool. Walk back around. Go pick this up. <laughs> I was hitting spacebar in my defense. Do we go? Okay. Where we go with this? Cause we pop up on the other side, I can send another one. Tell me I'm going the wrong way. And we're just floating, huh? Ooh. Here you go cooking. What can I make nowadays? Oh, I can make yeah. Oh, we got three backpack slots now. Huh. When we get that? So, vegetable, vegetable. So I'm wondering. 
Can we do one of these? A sand room. So, egg, fruit, and... Let's see what we can get on this. Dang it. Hey, they put the same group in there this time. Cold noodles? Oh, nice! Look at the roll on that bad boy. That was a good, good mix right there. Backpacks full. So, do we ever get like known ingredients? Oh, wait a minute. R. Hey, we know how to make this too. Seafood, dairy, and eggs, and vegetable. Oh. Oh no, that, that's not right. Fruit, dairy, eggs, and vegetable. That would probably be really good in real life, for just being honest. But yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, little playthrough today. What's in here? Lemons! Heck yeah. Um, yeah, but we got a boom boom gun now, and uh, we're ready to fight the world. Hopefully everybody's ready for the next episode. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.